Hello everyone, I'm Marielle Carbone. It's Tuesday, August 4th. In light of two recent fatalities in the Delaware River, local officials are urging safety precautions for any residents swimming or boating in the river. Police say the body of a missing 22-year-old Virginia man has been found. Marquise Richardson's body was discovered Tuesday evening by family members in the Delaware River in Bristol, a short distance from where he was last seen going underwater Sunday. Hundreds of volunteers spent the morning packing meals at the Bucks County Knocks Out Hunger event. Their work produced more than 100,000 meals to stock the shelves at food pantries around the county. The convictions of a former Morristown police officer and his ex-girlfriend were upheld yesterday by the New Jersey Appellate Division. Attorney General Kathleen Kane was arraigned Saturday on perjury, obstruction, and conspiracy charges. This comes after she was accused of leaking secret grand jury information to the press. Kane has denied any wrongdoing and didn't enter a plea deal at her arraignment. Good news for New Hope visitors, you can now leave your quarters at home. The township launched its smartphone app Park -a Mobile this week, which allows visitors to use their cell phones to pay at parking meters. Anishamani Federation of Teachers has ratified a new one-year contract. The 630-member union voted in favor of the new deal last night. The contract has no base salary increase but vertical steps and horizontal movements for eligible staff. President Barack Obama gave the keynote address at the 106th NAACP convention in Philadelphia yesterday. During this speech, Obama outlined a series of reforms he'd like to see within the criminal justice system, which he says is skewed by race and wealth. One of those changes being a reduction or elimination of mandatory criminal sentences for nonviolent drug offenders.